Hey everyone, welcome back to the Upper Games YouTube channel. My name is Ralph. This is Black Geyser Couriers of Darkness. And this is the second NPC in like an hour of gameplay that calls me lazy. I'm about to rage. I'm about to whack some people with my, uh, my club there. My mace. And you, Crone, you clearly have never heard of a beauty sleep. Doesn't mean that you need to impugn on my work ethic. Well, if you got any ethics at all, you'll help an old woman around the house. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Okay, so how does this make any sense? So in the previous episode, I was in the estate of Lord Esper, where I apparently grew up and I was uh, helping out with the servants. Then Lord Espen gets attacked by a bunch of rebels, uh, one of them being his son. He is killed, all of a sudden I wake up here in a hut with a crone and now she wants me to work in her garden. Because that makes sense story-wise, right? I think I'll just get a few more hours of sleep. Now I got the chance. I won't hear of it. You'll get your rest when you've earned it. I'll be making a stew this evening, you'll be helping. I need you to go and find some things for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Okay, so we need to open the inventory. Here is our list. Right, left click on it. And we need to gather bruise root, a brown stem mushroom, and a slab of fox meat. Okay. And I'm... Oh, I already looted that. I'm guessing I'm, I have to go out and grab that stuff. A strong magical force is keeping the door shut. Okay, so we first... What you need, my child? Oh, good, good. You know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself. Too much. First need to uh, speak to the crone again. Here, put these on. And I'm getting gardening gloves. What a great thing. Oh, look at that. That gives us a bonus to brewing and drying. Does it say that? Brewing and drying 10%. Okay, cool. Uh, what else do I have here? So I picked up a whole bunch of equipment, which is uh, better than mine, actually. Let's uh, grab a metal shield instead of my wooden one. The serving Amazon I probably won't need. Woolen gloves. Well, they help against the cold. That's not gonna do very much. I have a fine morning star. Let's see, what does that do? One to three damage. Is that it? Really? Okay, let's see if there is a weapon similar to a morning star. Is that a hammer? Oh, it's a battle axe. This looks... An iron mace, that's also one to three. And it is slower. Okay, so that is not good. Uh, there is a wooden a wooden heater shield, which has uh, better protection against everything, except base block chance. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to grab the uh, slashing, stabbing and pulsing bonus here, I, I would say. We change weapon again. What is this? Lunar Pendant. Does that do anything? Effects on being hit. Chance to grant lucky to self 3%. Okay, well we might as well just wear that. Why not? Infusion of berry juice recipe for healing effects. Place two portions of off catch into a cauldron, let them infuse for eight hours, okay? So we put that in our recipe thingy, I guess, okay? If you say so. Uh, can I go out now? Oh great, it's night, you're sending me out in the night? Open the map to find the ingredients. This can Conspicuous bush. Okay. Okay, there is uh, stuff to loot Not around the hut. I'm just gonna go and 
grab a whole bunch of plants while I'm at it. Just in case that she sends me out in a moment for um, for more ingredients. I would like to avoid having to run over here ten times. Slay the fox wandering the area to collect its meat for the crone. Okay, so we can click on attack. Oh, <laughs> That fox died a violent death. Alright, what else we got? There is... Oh, there's a river here. Okay. Got a bunch of spiders. Oh, this is nice. Look at that. What does that sound? Yes, yes. A white writer? Ritter? Who is this fellow standing here? Volunteer. Yes. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? Greetings, fellow traveler. I'm Volunteer. Please forgive me if I seem confused. I am not well just now. The Druidic Order sent me to heal this forest. There is an invasive species of spider that I am to cleanse, but they have unfortunately gotten the better of me. I've been severely bitten and they are venomous as well. Cannot continue. I consider approaching the cabin, but I was repulsed. Yellow spiders are destroying the natural balance in this area. I'm too weak to fight them now, but perhaps you could finish this good work on my behalf. Uh, I could kill the guy, but... Uh, let's see... Tell me more about these spiders. Different chapters of my order have been reporting a disturbing trend in Yurengal's forests. New and previously unknown species are moving in and mindlessly devouring and destroying our natural resources. Normally I would say that greed is a concept unknown to, sh to such uh, simple creatures, yet the coordinated manner in which they are driving out the local fauna and hoarding food and territory to no purpose strongly suggests this is the motivator must be driven out before the damage becomes irreparable. Hey, they're hoarders too! I feel a kinship with these uh, spiders. Um, sure. Why don't I help you kill some spiders? Thank you for serving Green Mother. There are four places in the forest where the infestation is thickest, a colony to the north and south, another bunch near a conspicuous bush, also to the south, and one on the old bridge by the west to the west okay this gives me some uh, <laughs> pathfinder kingmaker vibes you say so. where i uh, need to attack oh here we go here is spiders where there is a spider swarm very early on in the game that was uh, at least in the beginning when the game just came out was extremely difficult you cannot uh, to kill Oh my goodness, am I really missing these spiders? What was that? A stiff breeze? Okay, one down. Can you please kill this? Am I being poisoned? I am poisoned for four turns. Turns, 1 to 2 damage, and how many hit points do I have? 38, oof. Who cares? Who cares? Alright, uh, so, that was one of them. That is a forest spider, that's not the spider I'm looking for. Set uh, the Jedi Master nearby. That's a big tree. There's another fox. And a beautiful flower that needs uh, picking. Oh, and a spider. Blood and Oh, I killed it with the first blow. Very nice. Well done, uh, Asker. Let's 
So that is the second one. This might be brown stem mushroom. That's actually the mushroom that I need. Look at that. We get the bell, the bell I'm notification going. all the time. We are slaying it in this uh, quest solving stuff. Is that another one? That does look like a yellow spider, doesn't it? Yep, that is the third. Oh, and that was the correct one as well. So I think there is one more spider swarm. Actually, there is also another fox I could kill. Let's go. The fox is just going to stand there and let me kill it, which is um, I mean, it's a sympathetic creature. Yes, yes. Here is the bridge. Are these the spiders? Nope. Uh, what is nice is also that they are not automatically attacking you on sight. Let's see, it's a bit far from the bridge, I would say, to... Uh... Is this a sandbox game or is this map limited? Okay, no, the map seems to be limited, okay. I was wondering, maybe I'm running towards the other side of the world now. Let's just grab some more stuff. If you say so. That is a forest spider once again. These are some writers. Writing, writing, I don't know. Where is this third swarm? Uh, whoa, wait a minute. A ghoul! I am not 100% sure if I can take on a ghoul. Just yet. <laughs> that might be a bit ambitious. I remember playing a Lovecraftian oh mud once. I don't know if you... Um, you know those games it was like a multi-user dungeon like a text-based RPG way back in the day like 15-20 uh, years ago and I, I just created uh, my first character I was walking around and what happens is I walk into a ghoul I was exploring uh, the library at Miskatonic University and uh, well Let's, Let's just say the of. ghoul did not appreciate my presence, and so uh, I died. And that was uh, the first and last time that <laughs> I actually played that mud. It was a, a short experience there, but I was like, okay, well, um, this game might not be for me. Hello. Uh, to be fair, I mean, I was playing a bunch of mods back then, and I just wanted to check it out because it was Lovecraftian. Your eight-legged nemesis will no longer trouble this forest. Thank you for your help. I need more time to recuperate, but I believe I will recover eventually. Take this antidote. I've had more than I need already. Now that the spiders are gone, you will make better use of it, I'm sure. Alright, it's good to be prepared. There you are then, and thank you. Now that my mission is complete, I shall leave to report this great success. Your character has gained enough experience to level up. Click the icon that appeared on the character portrait to start the process. What? What? Leveled up? 
What is this nonsense? Let's see, what can we do? We can do uh, bargain and persuasion or let's do some more brewing and drying. Oh, you can see the percentages even. Oh, that is cool. So my brewing and drying is at 39. How much does that go up? To 43. It doesn't go up that much. But what is nice is that you can um, grab a bunch more points. Let me see. Let's grab some lock and door forcing. That sounds like a barbarian thing to do. Can I go all out on war clubs and hammers? So does this maces... Uh, what am I wielding at the moment? I'm wielding a mace, right? Was, wasn't that a fine mace? I think so. So this is a blunt headed weapons. Yes, so that is what I'm wielding anyway. Uh, battle axe, spears, small blades, large blade, rods and staves, and then ranged weapons. Can I go all out on one thing? It looks like I can, so I'm getting a, a decent percentage, 66 right now, on uh, my club. Well, if I do this, if I focus completely on one skill, this is gonna go up quite nicely, I would say, uh, with the next level up. And then I can put a point in a special ability. Let me grab my uh, challenging howl. Why not? I mean, it's a class specific ability. So let's just grab that. I'm going. And then I need to, of course, find the hut. All right, I'm afraid prone. to take a rest if you could. You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. All fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? What? Ah, oh, look at yourself. What a diligent hero you are. Didn't even need the staff I was going to give you for protection. Here, take it anyway. Let's see about that harvest. Solder, yes, perfect. Is there some kind of reward? Careful, son, careful. Greed can have unintended consequences these days. In any case, of course there is. You get to eat tonight. Oh, that's nice. Let's have a look at what you brought. What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must dry them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, <laughs> oh well, take this candle and get to drying. I'm, uh, I'm still confused about the glove remark earlier. Various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits and insects can be brewed into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions, a cauldron for brewing and a heat source like candles or a lantern for drying. To begin drying, you first need to open your inventory screen. We go to the drying tab. On top of the drying tab, you can see your collection of ingredients. Click and then move them to the highlighted drying slots to continue. Okay, so we can put all of that below. To switch between ingredients and heating devices, click the leaf or cauldron button at the top of the drying tab. Okay. Can we put this in here as well? Yes, we can. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got a candle to heat it. Start drying. Your ingredients are now dried, okay, so that happens instantly. Or maybe time went past, I didn't, I didn't see that. Your candle has been consumed in the process, lanterns on the other hand can be used indefinitely. They also enable the use of various heat levels. Wow, really? 
It could be the case that for certain ingredients you need a certain heat level to have like an optimal performance. That, that would go very deep actually. Let's uh, start crushing this stuff. Okay, let's collect it. There we go. Good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... Well and dried! There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. Oh, now we should talk. Well then! About talking. Uh, alright, so... Stop with the riddles, old woman. I've completed your task and you will answer my questions. No, oh, you think you've completed my tasks, huh? What do you think I had you do them for? There is never enough time. Uh, our time would be better served by discussing matters of import, yes. Very good. I think you already have the hang of it, but in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge, even learning to talk, will benefit you greatly in the difficult times ahead. Pay close attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm. Does that mean that by using this bargain and persuasion skill it goes up? Kind of like, um, you know, the Elder Scrolls games where by using the skill it uh, it happens to increase. Uh, that's a valuable lesson, sure, why not? I'm glad you find it to be. Now I'm certain you have more questions, perhaps I can continue being instructive. Why did you save me from the assault on the Aspen Estate? I kept an eye on Lord Aspen, he was a force of balance in S Silmarold. His death means that balance has failed. And it so happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place at the right time and I saw a chance to aid you. Well the question is why exactly? Why are you keeping me here? Making me do all of this? You weren't ready for Altnar's attack on his father's manor and I don't believe you are ready for the chaos of the world as it was when I pulled you from it. You're here to keep you safe and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. Who are you really? I'm afraid that is a question that I cannot answer. It's easiest to say that I'm someone you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way towards what you must accomplish. Okay, how about that stew? I'm hungry. Yes, yes, almost ready indeed. Now there's something you should know. I'm actually your mother! When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. Is that a metaphor? <laughs> yes, where, 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 my elephant friend, would you have heard the word metaphor? It is not. The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. <laughs> Much will be lost to strife and war. Good. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. Yes, there is worse things than war. My farts, my burps, and my mace. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the papa to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Greed isn't a curse, just a vice. Yes, yes, ordinarily you would be right. This is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No magic. mere apprentices can trip either. It is most dangerous, and you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Lady, I'm hungry. Getting a good look at you now, you're a bit of a fighter, aren't you? I know how to swing a weapon, if that's what you mean. Yes, yes, anyone can. The real test of a warrior isn't confidence or muscle. To stay alive long enough to become a veteran, you need a brain. Now see that chest over there in the corner? It's locked and you don't look like the kind of boy who spent a lot of time fiddling with mechanics. Go open it for me. The chest you need to open is locked. The force lock and door skill can be used to open it up. 
Use your skill, open the skills bar above the portrait row and then click the uh, force lock button to begin using the skill. Let me force this lock with my mace. Mm -hmm, don't worry child, there is treasure inside. We'll have to get past the beastie to get to it. Now, I'll be joining you for a short while to make sure you don't stab yourself anywhere that won't grow back. If you want to learn to inspire your allies to follow your orders, it's important that you practice. Tell me what you want me to do as we fight. Your character can become the leader of your party by using the command company skill. Click the skill bar above the portrait row, then click command company button. What? Of course I'm the commander. Once your commander is set, you can close the commander panel by right clicking on the command company button. To apply the commander perk you selected, the party needs to rest together, training for the tactics the commander chose. Click the rest button to finalize your choices. Uh, that was the T. Okay, do I need to speak to you now or what? We have rested for eight hours, okay. Um, are we supposed to kill this thing or what? Once that is done, we are to defeat the beast. Yes, so... Oh, okay. What do you need, my child? Is that what I need to do? I need you to walk around? Where's the wheel? There's a... a what? Oh, look at that. I can choose um, a perk. Hidden run. Attack speed and movement speed of all party members increased by 30%. Block chance of all party members by uh, wielding shields is increased. Hunters in the dark aim and accuracy is increased. Evasive action, dodge chance, parry chance and block chance increased by 3%. Physical damage dealt increased by 15%, dodge and parry decreased by 5%. And attacks made against the current target of the commander deal plus 15% damage. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go for the wolf. Yes, yes. Oh, and now we need to rest, I guess. Is that what you want me to do? Say so. I don't know. Oh, yep. Hey, thanks for your help, Crone. Uh, you did... <laughs> You did a lot of damage there. Very good, you're learning your way around the fight. Now remember that you often won't be alone on the battlefield. Now, uh, what was it that we... Ah, yes. Your stew, crone, I'm hungry. Here, boy, this will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. Before I go... To rest, I'm going to end another episode. This is the third episode in my Let's Try. If you would like to see me play more of this game, let me know in the comments. Um, I do like the game itself, so I wouldn't mind doing some more. Uh, of course, everything is depending on um, what you would like to see as well. So definitely let me know what you would like to see me play. If you're enjoying this game, Hit that like button if you want to get it for yourself. There is a link in the description, as always. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.